Mixer Reviews here at the former First Texas Honda building. This First Texas Honda building is now currently abandoned. No one's been using this land or been leasing to other companies to contract with this land. Let's take a look around and see what's inside. I'm zooming out. This first Texas Honda complex building has been abandoned for quite some time. Probably about around 10 years since 2005, 2007. Ooh, and there's some graffiti over here. The location of First Texas Honda is at 2222 and uh, I believe Jefferson Avenue, I think. Okay. Anyway, let's take a look around. I'll look at the street location later. Sorry about that. I'll be zooming the camera back and forth so you guys can get some more clearer pictures of what I am recording right now. Zooming out. It looks like we can't get inside. The doors are locked. It looks like homeless life has been here so far. Looking at all the trash and debris that is on the ground currently. Let's see if I can look inside this building. It says dry land is a myth. Well, that's some BS. It looks like the ceiling has dilapidated. I don't know what that was, but oh well. Let's see if I can zoom inside some more. Look, watch my step. It looks like there's a mat on the ground or a blanket or whatever. Now I'll turn over here, see what we can get inside. And you see here, birds have been such as, it seems here that birds such as pigeons have been making nests in these abandoned ceilings, of course, in these broken, dilapidated ceilings. And I don't know why they put that there. It says STL, I think that stands for St. Louis. Yeah, it does. We are on Koenig Lane, which is also known as 2222 here in Austin, Texas. We are, we are in the Allendale neighborhood, I believe. Alright. Uh, it looks like someone tried to break in this window here and they put a board up. It reminds me of Detroit, Michigan a little bit over here. The Allendale neighborhood reminds me a little bit of Detroit, Michigan. It looks like people have been trying to break in, such as homeless people, to use this building as shelter and squat in it. See if I can see inside or is it too dark? Oh, it's kind of too dark, sorry you can't see everything in here. It looks like, the, it looks like this uh, first Texas Honda business was part of Bear Bureau business. Looks like the first Texas Honda business was a part of the Better Business Bureau back in 2005, 2006, as this shows here on his little placard sticker. And it looks like someone tried to break in here, obviously. Now let's go look around the other side of the building. Look at all this debris of leaves and branches on the ground. Looks like no one's been keeping up with this place for whatever reason. I mean, the first Texas Honda building complex has been abandoned for nearly 10 years. What a sad sight.
Looks like the desks are still in new and improved conditions. It looks like these desks are still in new and used conditions, of course. Some of them have dust on them. Looks like there's a light inside on in the building. I don't know who's there, but I highly doubt that there's anyone there, yet the lights are still running. Pretty odd, huh? And it looks like this place has been getting newspapers for some reason. Let's see what the date of these newspapers are. Hmm, weird. We got like this this month's last month's newspaper from 2015, June 2015 to be exact. Now let's go down here. Let's see more of this abandoned building complex. So this first here, first Texas Honda. Looks like that sign's missing. Well, looks like there's something over here on this abandoned building. That's the parts and services building over here. Let's zoom in. It says parts and service. That's the warehouse for the parts and service building, I believe. Yes, it is. Now let's zoom over here, finally. I'm gonna stand over here in the state. I'm gonna stand over here in the shade real quick. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. The creative adult is the child revived. That's what it says. Let me zoom out in case you all didn't see it. Uh, it looks like someone stole the lights here. It looks like there's scrappers in this building too, of course. Which I'm not totally surprised. Yet, yet 2222 is a busy road here in Austin, Texas, yet there seems to be homeless life and scrappers here. It says, first Texas used cars. I don't know if anyone's inside. It looks like we can't go inside though, because it says no trespassing, but I'm not gonna go inside either way. Looks like someone right here didn't finish their graffiti painting, tagging, or whatever. Now let's go around the building. It looks like someone painted over this garage a long time ago. Now let's zoom back out, walk around the building. Looks like those are security cameras, but I don't know if they're in use or not. Probably they are, but they don't really care. There's abandoned building right over there too. Oh, there's some branches from the what? Here are some branches from the recent thunderstorms we've been having. This is a result. This first Texas Honda. Yeah, the trees are kind of covering it, so we can't really see what it says. Sorry about that.
And that about wraps it up for this urban exploration video. Thanks for watching.